What is up guys, Madman12 here. This time I'm gonna be talking about creating an image of your PC. So then this way, um, in case you get a virus or your hard drive malfunctions or fails, doesn't wanna start up, you gotta get a new hard drive, you can restore your system back to the way it was, which is uh, disaster recovery, using a Cronus True Image 2015. And again, I know some people are not gonna agree with that, um, who had bad experiences. Um, but that's not what this video is about, so it's not for you guys and for the people who had good experiences uh, with it. This video is for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it and especially to the people who don't know but want to know. Um, I like to create what's called an untouched recovery image, which I'm going to show you guys that in a second. Uh, for example, say you get a PC from HP or Dell, you know, they have a recovery partition. And uh, I bought a laptop from Main Gear, and it also has kind of a recovery partition on it. And the reason why I say kind of is because I'm going to show you guys how it kind of restores itself back. But it's, it's similar almost to the way it came, but not exactly. But this is the reason why the untouched recovery is important for those kind of machines, for that kind of, uh, you know, for that kind of company that sells those kind of machines. And that's exactly what I did. So I'm going to show you guys again using a Cronus True Image Home 2015. Let's get into it. All right, so here we have on the left, this is, I just wanted to show this. This is a, a Cronus True Image Home 2011. Um, I've been using a Cronus True Image since it was uh, 11 all the way up to 2015, which means I've been using it since it was uh, from... Um, home 11 all the way to like 2009 2010 2011 all the way on to Acronis true image home 2015 and this is the version here uh, that I picked up they're gonna have a 2016 version um, this one definitely backs up Windows 10 um, I definitely want to show you guys that in a second and um, I've been using Acronis for so long that I really do uh, love the product and uh, for me, I believe it's worth the money. Um, again, I've been using it for a very, very long time. And you know, you can definitely store your uh, backup images onto a, uh, an external, uh, external hard disk drive, or you can also store them uh, on a USB thumb drive, which I have here, several images. I have about four of them, and I'm gonna get into that and show you guys in a minute. And so this is the uh, bootable um, thumb drive that's going to boot the Acronis um, boot disk, basically. So it's going to take me to the uh, menu, and I'm going to show you guys that. That way you guys can check it out. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So here's my main gear laptop, Pulse 11. And this is what it says here on the left for those that are interested that want to know. And uh, yeah, I purchased this laptop back in 2013. Uh, I preloaded it with Windows 10. I'm going to be showing you guys that. So that way when it boots up, you guys can see. Um, on my left, I got the two USB sticks, uh, thumb drives. And I'm going to be using the external hard drive to create the image. So I'm going to show you guys. Okay, let me go and get ready to restart this. It's a little difficult to do this with one hand and hold the camera in another, but we'll get it done. So, okay, it's uh, restarting. I'm going to plug in the uh, thumb drive. And now when I get to the boot menu, I have to have this key ready. Just focusing right now. Okay. And here we go. You can see it says starting a Cronus in the upper left. I'm trying to get this focus on here. And so basically you can choose to either start Windows, a Cronus system report. You just go to a Cronus True Image 2015 and you press enter on that or you can use the mouse and uh, you're gonna get this splash screen and when this splash screen passes it's gonna it's gonna boot up to the Acronis True Image and once it's booted I'm gonna plug in the external USB hard drive and 
Now we got that in the upper left. Please wait. It's loading. Okay, so now we're in the menu. So what you want to do first is you want to plug in your external USB hard drive. That's what we're going to do right now. Okay, I plugged it in. Uh, you know, you're going to see a white light. So now what you want to do is you want to go to where it says backup. And you want to click backup. And uh, basically it's going to be telling you which hard drives do you want to back up so that's the part you have to choose and so the one you want to back up is the one that says not my passport but the one that says the uh the drive c and uh which is right here so you want to back up this number three so you want to put a check on that box uh again for your pc it might be different but you do have to look for the drive C, which is the primary active partition. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click next. So as we go to next, now you're gonna go to browse. And when you go to browse, you wanna set the location for the backup. So I'm gonna go to the hard drive that says my passport. I already got a lot of stuff on here. This is basically my gaming hard drive, but I'm using it for demonstration purposes because I don't have an extra drive. Okay, so now if you see, it'll say, the file name says my, uh, G my backup dot TIB. Um, you can replace the name if you want. You can call it, um, let me see, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand to get past the little dot part. Let's see, okay, I'm past it. All right, um, so I'm gonna call it uh, Windows 10. I'm trying to type here without looking into the camera lens, so bear with me. So, okay, so Windows 10. Okay, I basically, I basically made an error here with one hand. That's why using a camera with one hand is never a good thing, plus I'm right-handed. So, okay, let me regenerate it, and uh, my mistake on that one. And the beep was because I went all the way back. Okay, here we go. I apologize for that but it's not easy when you have one hand and one hand only in the camera here we go um i believe this is right let's see uh it's kind of hard because i'm not trying to look through the lens but jesus this is so f so far apart it's spaced okay uh we'll call it recovery Uh, image yes I know I forgot the a okay so you can uh, label this to whatever you want it could be called even your own name or whatever it is so basically that's going to be the backup and I'm putting it into the main source which is the uh, external hard drive the USB hard drive so now what you want to do at this point, you want to click OK. And when you go to OK, you'll notice now it's there, right here, where it says Backup Location. And you're just going to click Next. As you click Next, you just have to make sure everything here is correct. And once it's done, it'll start creating the backup image. So here we go. You go to Proceed. And that's it. It's going to start backing up your PC. Um, this is going to take a little while, so I don't want to board you guys with that. But when it's almost done, I'll put it right there. So we'll be right back. All right. And you can see it's still doing the backup. Still backing up and creating the partition image. And it's almost done. I just didn't want to board you guys with that. Okay, so now 
once the backup is done you'll get backup operation succeeded and so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click OK and uh, once I click OK what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close the window here and the whole system's gonna restart it still has Windows 10 but this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my 64 gigabyte USB recovery stick and I'm going to um, I'm gonna basically recover my system back to the way uh, it was when I got it and uh, it's gonna be what's called an untouch recovery and I'm gonna show you guys that right now so I'm gonna reboot the system and I'm gonna disconnect the uh, external USB hard drive so bear with me okay let me get this key ready so this way it boots right back to Acronis and again you're gonna get that in your upper left hand corner and don't forget to pick Acronis True Image 2015 or whatever version you may have 2016 or whatever and then after that you'll get the splash screen and once the splash screen goes to the main menu again I'm gonna go to recovery and I'm going to recover the uh, image that I had made when I had got the laptop and uh, it's gonna take a little while so I don't want to board you guys with that as it's recovering I'll re return back once it's uh, almost done okay so now I'm plugging in the uh, USB drive and now I'm gonna go to recover and get this over here so you're gonna go to recover now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to browse so that way you can look for which backups to recover once you go to browse let's go over here and as you can see I thought I had four images but I have a uh, three so I'm gonna go to the main gear post 11 full recovery just double click that and uh, once you do you'll get it there and all you have to do is highlight it you right click on it you'll get a drop down menu uh, excuse me um, you click next and once it's on there you'll see it says uh, choose recovery method click next and you want to restore the whole disk 2 of course it was disk 3 before it was numbered differently before so um, you know which is uh, crazy so you just want to put a check on there and um, once you do that you're gonna have all of them checked and then after that you're gonna click next again I apologize because I'm right-handed and I'm holding the camera with my left so it's pretty hard to do this you're gonna select the hard drive here which is disk number three and this is the uh, 500 gig hard drive and once you click next it's gonna tell you the destination uh, hard disk drive you have chosen contains some partitions that could contain useful data hard disk drive image recovery is possible only if the destination hard disk drive is empty click OK to confirm deletion of all partitions on the destination hard disk drive that's what we're gonna do click OK so again you're gonna get all of this here all this you know all these uh, little things here these messages telling you what partitions are gonna be recovered and from that point on you just click proceed once you click proceed now you're gonna get a window and it's gonna say data recovery and it'll tell you uh, steps four of six recovering partition main gear post 11 for recovery and that's gonna take some time so we'll be back uh, once it's almost done okay so once the recovery is done um, I didn't want to board you guys with that but uh, it just finished so it says recovery operation succeeded and so basically I'm gonna do the exact same thing let me just um, get this camera and zoom in a little bit more I'm gonna go and click OK and once I do that I'm gonna move it uh, mouse cursor to the close button I'm gonna close it out and uh, once I close that out it's gonna reboot the system and so now I'm gonna unplug both USB thumb drives okay so now you see I'm back here in the menu 
and let me get the focus on over here you see it says starting windows this is uh this laptop came preloaded with uh, windows 7 so that's exactly what it's going to boot up and as you can see you're going to see something that says it's uh, preparing uh, setup is preparing your computer for first use this is the you know this is the recovery i made um it was basically that once it came out of the box um i just powered it on and went straight to the acronis true image and didn't boot straight through and um the reason why i didn't do that is because this laptop didn't come with a uh you know a recovery uh image which i mean it does have it but it's not like a real image image let me just put whatever uh name here i'll just put uh madman 12 and i'm gonna show you guys that because you guys will see what i mean for the guys that uh know what i'm talking about all right let me go to accept the terms because when you actually get this you know when you recover this back what you're gonna notice is uh it's just totally different it's not the exact same kind of recovery the time here is wrong it's actually 10 where is it at eight nine ten there we go let me just fix that okay that is today's date saturday and so now what i'm doing is i'm gonna wait until this prepares itself so yeah, this laptop came preloaded with uh, Windows 7, and you can see the Main Gear logo there. And it came with Windows 7 on Premium 64-bit version, so it's uh, preparing the desktop. Uh, again, this recovery was pretty quick, the Windows 7 one. Of course, if you back it up to a USB 3 um, external hard drive, and that's because this is how it came. It came preloaded like this, exactly empty. And let me close this part out and again so yeah so you can see that uh, I'm running Windows 7 now uh, home premium so now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna end up recovering the system back with uh, Windows 10 and so see the thing is this is what I mean by a recovery an untouched recovery is that you get the laptop and so what I did was I basically opened it up and it's kind of hard to do with one hand here um, so basically I um, opened it up and when I did that give me one second here so basically I opened it up and uh, instead of me just going right away to input my name and all that other stuff into the um, you know into the laptop like when you first get it I just basically powered it on um, heavy up and went to the boot menu went to Acronis and created the backup and that's the reason why I call it an untouched recovery because that specifically means that it wasn't touched so basically you get your system back exactly how it was when you got it out of the box now again this came with its own recovery there's a different method for this um, I think you have to I think you have to go to the uh, I think it's the Windows backup or some 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 crap like that. Let me go to the icons here and um, I believe it's uh, recovery. I'm just trying to see if I find it here. Bear with, bear with me because I'm looking through the camera screen, but I'm trying to hold the camera steady now. Uh, let me just do this. Close this out. That's going to take some time. Let me just go to recovery see right here so here we have um, the Windows recovery and you see how it has an option there that just says um, to use the image you created earlier or you can uh, reinstall Windows so basically that's what it's gonna do it's not gonna really recover itself completely like you know has an untouched recovery um, if you go to the option of reinstalling windows that's exactly what it's gonna do it's just basically gonna reinstall the windows for you and uh, I'm gonna skip this backup thing here it's telling me to back up so I'm gonna skip that and I'm gonna go to restart and see this is the kind of image that it's gonna be doing uh, basically since this was done over there at main gear 
it's kind of like a quick recovery in a way so it's just gonna reinstall the windows and it's rebooting right now and so you'll basically get to this menu here and it's an image that they created so I feel that this this method I feel is somewhat okay but to me it's not like it's a real recovery uh, option because when you when when you do this kind of recovery what's gonna happen is um, it's basically gonna put the system back to how you got it like out of the box but it's gonna leave a windows old folder and that's the reason why I really didn't like that so it's talking about if you want to reinstall windows let's just go along with this and uh, I don't know if this is gonna take a long time but see now this method uh, for the people who know about this uh, when it leaves the windows old folder which means that you you actually have to um, that's the fan kicking in if you hear that noise that means that what's gonna happen is it's gonna it's gonna reinstall the whole thing like it was a recovery and uh, you know the issue you're gonna deal with is that now you have a folder there which is a windows old folder and now you have to like delete all of that and this is the reason why the Acronis true image method the untouch recovery will fix that um, it will fix that because you won't have to worry about that um, I even called main gear up and I was like trying to find out um, you know if they have like a recovery disc but they they you know they don't um, again the guy told me over the phone you know the method to do it is to is to use the image that they uh, have but the reason why I called because I really like to obtain the original recovery disc but unfortunately for this post 11 they don't have that so this is gonna probably take some time and I'll go back to this when it um, you know when it's done all right guys and we're back um, setup is still installing okay it just finished it just rebooted and uh, this is again this was doing uh, installing Windows 7 from the image that main gear uh, put not that I have a problem with the image they put but it just doesn't have that real recovery feel to it so I'm glad I did the untouch recovery you know that I did again this laptop comes with no bloatware and as you can see it's doing the exact same thing as the untouch recovery that's because I did a fresh install of Windows on top of Windows so what's bad about this kind of recovery is you're gonna end up with a Windows old folder and if you notice look how kind of different it kind of looks and uh, let me get this camera to my other hand this way I can just input the name I'll just put madman 12 there's double ways there's uh, let me just get that out bear with me as I'm using one hand and using the other hand to hold the camera all right so it's similar to how it first started out like the untouch recovery but um you're gonna see what I'm talking about for those uh, who already know about this and for those uh, you know and for those who don't know um, this this method is still good so it's not like I'm bashing it but I just you know I, I felt they should have made a partition that had like an untouched recovery or at least provided a recovery disk I'm trying to get the focus on bear with me so it's pretty much doing the same thing it did with the untouched recovery but you're gonna be left with a windows old folder which is taking up hard drive space and that's the reason why you have to like delete it and again if this video is uh, too long I apologize because I have to do the uh, you know the next recovery with the Windows 10 and this way I can show you guys that that recovery worked okay now this is what it says here recovery has completed Do you want to restore the users files and so yeah I'm gonna click that just for demonstration purposes and as you can see there is nothing there because I have no user files I can click the refresh but there's nothing there so I'm just gonna click cancel on that that's for people who saved all their documents or whatever it was and now you can see the bottom here it's as if the drivers are not really even installed like the video card drivers 
so basically it brought everything back but it just doesn't have that real feel like i'm not sure if you know if you guys know what i'm talking about but um you see how it has that windows.old and now this method kind of sucks and you can see how much hard drive space you know it really is i mean it's 18.4 gigabytes so for those who don't know and you only have this method on whatever laptop you buy um that means you're basically stuck with this hard drive space being taken up which is 18.5 gigs of course main gear provides you with a manual they tell you to delete the windows.old folder which you can do that which i'm doing now and um that's gonna free up a lot of hard drive space and once this is done you won't see the folder there though no, you know you won't see the folder there no more and you just click continue and it just has like a lot of crap so it's practically like you just reinstalled the operating system right on top of the operating system that's exactly what it is and yes so there's just a lot of crap to like delete but once this is all deleted you don't have to worry about that let me just hit that the check on that that way it doesn't keep asking me and yeah this is gonna take a little bit because i mean damn look at the size of this man 18.4 gigabytes but once this is deleted you won't see the windows.old folder and um see this is the reason why i don't really like that recovery method that they have because um i mean their image is okay um again it's not like i'm bashing them or complaining about it but i like the untouched recovery a lot better um as you can see when it first started up you know when i did my recovery um because everything was already preloaded there was no you know there was no windows.old folder you didn't have to deal with doing this but um this looks like this is going to take a while so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to hit uh cancel but once you delete that folder you won't see this folder here no more it'll just be just the regular windows and um yeah i mean you know this method i don't you know i don't really like it to be honest and what i'm gonna do is now i'm just gonna restart this and i'm gonna show you guys the recovery image that i did of the windows 10 earlier and i'm gonna restore the system back using the uh, external usb3 uh, hard drive so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna restart the system now and plug it in so as this is rebooting i'm also gonna plug in my acronis boot uh usb my usb uh bootable stick and i'm gonna go back to the uh, acronis recovery menu let me go to that And so now you'll see the starting Acronis loader. Go back to the Acronis True Image 2015. Splash screen. Wait for that to finish splashing, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, once that's done, um, splashing on, the, on your screen, then it'll be on the uh, recovery menu. And once you get that recovery menu, telling you to please wait and so forth and so on you go back to recover and once you do that you go to browse for backups and I'm gonna browse remember this laptop has Windows 7 I did basically the main recovery um, image that I had created which was the untouched one and then I did the uh, you know um, I did the main gear one and so now I'm gonna completely wipe everything and I'm going to recover back to Windows 10 I went back to the passport you can see the recovery image here it is blue and it says Windows 10 recovery image so that's exactly what you want to do click OK once you click OK, that's it. You highlight it, right click, you'll get a drop down menu, and you go to recover. Go to next, and then you just want to put the check on disk three. 
once you do that all of them will be checked click next and then it's going to tell you uh this number three that's exactly the one you want to highlight then you want to go to next then it's going to tell you about the hard drive yes you want to do that so you go to okay so it says copy partitions without changes or you want to copy partitions and use and use as a non disk gp gpt style no you want to just click on the first one here that says copy partitions without changes and you just go to next ignore that uh, horn thing if you hear it that's just outside um so you get the summary of what it's going to recover so it's doing steps uh number of operations is doing six so it's got to recover back to windows 10 click proceed and now it's going to start recovering so it's on step four to six uh let's see if this goes a little quick if it does, I'll leave it on. If not, then I'll just come back to it. All right, so it's moving. I mean, it's not like there's a lot of stuff installed when I had created the backup. I mean, it's pretty much empty. It's just a clean, just a clean um, operating system on there. So it should restore pretty quickly. Shouldn't take that long. And once this is done recovering, it's gonna boot back exactly the way um, you first saw it when I turned it on with uh, Windows 10. So again, um, I do love Acronis True Image Home 2015. I've been using it for a long time. Um, I've used it, I mean, for a very long time and I'm very satisfied with the program. Um, again, some people may not be happy with Acronis because they might have had bad experiences. Um, I might have had maybe just one issue, to be honest, when I created one um, recovery. Um, it was pretty much damaged, so I only had just that one uh, instance with it. But that's the reason why it's good to make multiple images, just in case one of them is, you know, like that. But overall, that is one issue I had and that was with I think it was a Cronus true image 2010 I believe and that was it that was the only issue I had but overall I never had a problem with the rest of all the images that I've ever done and even with the PCs that I built I use a Cronus true image to create the untouch recovery you know once I tell the client to uh, buy their own windows and once they do that you know it gets installed and once that's installed then that's it you know you create a, a nice recovery and whatever issues anybody has the good thing about this is your system will restore back to the way you had it with your settings and everything um, on it now this windows 10 when i created the backup i created the backup not changing anything i just basically installed the windows 10 just created the uh, image and now this says recovery operation succeeded i'm going to close this out disconnect the hard drive and disconnect the uh, my thumb drive here and now the system's gonna boot and what do you know it's back to Windows 10 so it's it's like nothing it's you know it's like nothing ever happened And that's it you see it says madman welcome madman 12 welcome there's the there's the uh, windows you know the window background and that's it it's back to exactly how the way it was and that is how you use a Cronus true image home 2015 uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video like comment subscribe if you want to and for those who don't know that want to know if you have any questions, shoot them at me and I'll try to reply back as quickly as I can. And to those who already know, um, also, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later, guys.